let's take a deep dive into the recent performance and future prospects of Palantir Technologies, which is a company at the forefront of the artificial intelligence revolution. Over the past year, this innovative firm has captured the imagination of investors, emerging as a prominent player in the realm where artificial intelligence and enterprise software as a service converge. On the 6th of May, Palantir released its highly anticipated earnings report for quarter one, a pivotal moment that sent shockwaves through the investment community. In the two weeks preceding this momentous occasion, Palantir stock experienced a surge of momentum, propelling its share price skyward by a staggering 20%. However, in a twist of fate, the aftermath of the earnings announcement saw Palantir's stock plummet by over 15%, a descent from which it has yet to recover to its pre-earnings heights. This dramatic turn of events begs the question, does this present a golden opportunity to seize upon the dip in Palantir's stock? Palantir's meteoric rise to prominence can be traced back to the year 2023 when the company unveiled its groundbreaking artificial intelligence platform. News of this revolutionary offering spread like wildfire, fueled in no small part by Palantir's unconventional yet ingenious lead generation strategy. The company hosts immersive seminars dubbed boot camps, where prospective customers can experience firsthand the power of Palantir's software products and identify potential use cases for artificial intelligence within their organizations. Since the launch of the artificial intelligence platform, Palantir has conducted over 900 of these boot camps, a feat that has accelerated customer acquisition and catalyzed higher revenue, margin expansion, and a surge in free cash flow. Given the enduring momentum of the artificial intelligence wave from the previous year, it comes as no surprise that Palantir stock continued to ride this crest of enthusiasm. However, the stock's precipitous decline following the company's quarter one report has left investors grappling with a crucial dilemma. Should they cut their losses and flee, or seize the opportunity presented by the depressed prices? While the bootcamp strategy has undoubtedly proven popular, astute investors would be wise to peer beneath the surface and critically assess Palantir's measurable financial results. In quarter one, Palantir's revenue soared by an impressive 21% year over year, reaching a staggering $634 million. The company's non-government business played a pivotal role in this growth, surging 27% year over year. Perhaps even more significant than revenue alone is Palantir's remarkable margin expansion. The company's operating income of $81 million represented a 20-fold increase compared to quarter one of 2023. This rising operating leverage has enabled Palantir to consistently generate positive net income, marking their sixth consecutive quarter of profitability on a generally accepted accounting principles basis. Although the above results are undoubtedly impressive, Palantir has been diligently working behind the scenes to forge new avenues for growth. Chief among these initiatives is the company's recent partnership with Oracle, a development that has our financial reporter particularly excited, albeit one that has yet to yield tangible gains for Palantir. With such a robust overall operation, it may seem counterintuitive that Palantir shares are experiencing a sell-off. However, while the company is performing from a position of strength, investors have reached a point where they demand more. Our analysis suggests that some investors may be harboring unrealistic expectations. Artificial intelligence is still in its nascent stages, and it will likely be years before the true beneficiaries of this transformative technology emerge. Consequently, it is not entirely surprising that Palantir witnessed a sell-off following an otherwise stellar earnings report. Palantir has reached a pivotal juncture where profitability has become a consistent reality, and its artificial intelligence platform is proving to be a prolific tool, penetrating both the private and public sectors across a myriad of use cases. However, we must acknowledge that expectations will continue to soar as Palantir competes with some of the largest enterprises in the world when it comes to artificial intelligence-powered software. Moreover, with a price-to-sales ratio of 21.2 and a forward price-to-earnings ratio of 67.1, Palantir shares are not exactly a bargain. Nonetheless, our financial sage opines that investors with a long-term horizon may still wish to consider scooping up some shares at present, as the company is firing on all cylinders and its growth roadmap is highly compelling. We must remember that Palantir Technologies has been a fixture for approximately 20 years, growing its revenue primarily through contracts with governments during most of that time. However, over the past couple of years, this software company's commitment to artificial intelligence and its increasing focus on serving business has supercharged its growth trajectory. In the most recent quarter, Palantir generated double-digit revenue gains and the largest quarterly profit in the company's history, a feat that failed to buoy the stock. As a matter of fact, Palantir shares have dipped 17% over the past three months. 
Investors might have been disappointed by the company's full-year revenue guidance, which fell short of certain estimates, but another element is arguably more important, and this is the ability to strike a delicate balance between revenue and profit growth. So before making any decisions about Palantir, let us examine this one crucial number that investors might be ignoring. The software company specializes in helping governments and businesses aggregate their data and leverage it to advance certain projects or strengthen their operations. And just last year, management launched its artificial intelligence platform, seamlessly integrating this cutting-edge technology with the expertise Palantir has cultivated over time. Commercial customers have flocked to Palantir, recognizing that savvy management of data can lead to increased efficiency, eventually saving time and money, which can open the door to new growth opportunities. In the quarter, its United States commercial revenue rose an impressive 40%, and its United States commercial customer count climbed a remarkable 69%. As mentioned, the company's overall quarterly revenue and profit came in strong, but management's forecast for full-year revenue of $2,680,000,000 to $2,690,000,000 missed a consensus estimate of $2,710,000,000. It is crucial to remember that even the lowest Palantir forecast still represents 20% growth from last year's revenue level. On top of that, the one thing that some investors may not have noticed is the rule of 40. This rule is a calculation combining the revenue growth rate and profit margin. When a company attains and maintains a rule of 40 score of 40% or higher, it is a positive sign. So you should be aware that Palantir registered an impressive 57% in its latest quarter. This is a great sign because it indicates that management is not merely pouring investments into revenue growth, but is also focusing on translating that growth into profitability. At the same time, growth in commercial customers and soaring demand for the company's artificial intelligence platform boot camps should keep revenue climbing and this offers an ongoing opportunity to keep increasing profit. Palantir's success as measured by the rule of 40 also makes this company stand out among its peers. Only about a third of software companies succeed under the rule of 40, and even fewer maintained that success according to research conducted by McKinsey and Company. In a McKinsey analysis of 200 software companies over the period of a decade, they surpassed rule of 40 performance about 16% of the time. Palantir's success under that rule offers us reason to be confident about its ability to continue along the profitability path, and it shows us the company is among the top players in the industry by this measure. McKinsey noted that the successful Rule of 40 companies set realistic growth targets and adjust their cost structure accordingly. So our financial sage is not disappointed that Palantir's annual growth target fell short of certain estimates. Instead, it demonstrates wise management of the revenue or profitability equation. Now, what does this mean for you as an investor? Should you buy Buy the stock on the dip. There is no guarantee it will rebound overnight, but it offers many positives today and into the future. The company is profitable, revenue is on the rise, the commercial business is growing, and it is a solid player in the artificial intelligence space. All of this together leaves our financial reporter optimistic about Palantir's future, making this a great stock to buy on the dip and hold onto for the long term.